Hello ladies and gents, I am Ladiffin and welcome back to From the Depths Adventure Mode. And welcome back to my completely annihilated adventure craft. So, I've got to quickly build up some repair modules I think. And I think I've got to slow down completely in order to do this. Or I just spam repair bots, that's the other thing. It is moving very slowly at, currently. Where are you going? Can I actually build a repair drone? So, blocks. Uh, I'm going to go with... Where's rubber? What this mass of stuff is going to be is I'm going to build a repair thing here. So I'll go to Miscellanus and an actual go to a sub vehicle spawner or well, vehicle blueprint spawner. Put that there and spawn in a repair ball. At point blank range and then also I need some pair tentacles oh okay apparently that didn't work so I need to grab myself the docking station and grab hold of the repair ball Turn it on, so that will mean it pulls the repair ball into range. It should do. Here it comes. And we're going to position it in the rubber housing. And turn it off. Sitting on my craft. And then it blows up. Hmm. I didn't have enough rubber, did I? Oops, and I'm out of fuel again. Try again. So, a... I need a sub-vehicle spawner. Or actually, a bl vehicle blueprint spawner. You hold, hold until 100% complete. load it in. Oh, come on. Come on, load. Oh, heck! Right, there we go. Sort of worked, eventually. Let it glitch through everything. Build like that. Come on. Flying up. Stop moving away so quickly. To off and. There we go. Okay, so the pebble is now repairing a lot quicker than the drones will. So I just need to now wait for it all to repair up. I have a nasty feeling that some of my ship will actually not be there. It does seem to be the case that when certain things just break off, they don't get replaced properly.
Oh, my resources. Just again, I'm going to sell all these beams and such. Worth a lot of metal. Lot of material. Right, these guns I can't really afford at the moment. So just sell both of them. Try and get the main batteries up online. Heavy armor is so expensive. So by the looks of it, my ship is basically repaired now. So I can scrap you. So the repair ball has been scrapped. So now I need to delete all this rubber. Excellent. Looks like my ship is now sort of functional again. I have very, very little resources though. So let's see if I can't see any portals or such in the local area. Okay, not long after finding a portal and heading towards it, an enemy has spawned in. So it's spawned in within 12 minutes and frag death. So it's going to be white flares, I reckon. What are you? A desecrator. Good, well I hit it hard. Come on, aim a little bit lower. Unfortunately, I do only have this primary railgun left. Mostly deflecting off the shields, though, which is a bit worrisome. Okay, did hit them one of the guns. One of my main guns is down. Big explosion. Is that on me or them? Could very well be me. Down to 96% health. Seemed overheated, so some damage has been sustained on my ship. So damage is striking right at the front. Just taking it straight in my stride, though. I think I do have two layers of shields actually at the front, so that does help. Heading straight towards it, give me enough resources once defeated to be able to repair and rebuild. Still hitting the rear of the ship. My detection is just very bad at the moment. Mainly because I've deleted a load of... I've deleted a load of it. Because it was mainly on the gun turrets. And the gun turrets no longer are there. What is the detection like? Look at that. That's very, very spotty detection. It's getting better, but it's still not very good. Considering how close I am for the detection to be this bad. Oh heck, his guns have reloaded. I'm turning into Swiss cheese again. Good. The heavy mortars now firing at the fore of the ship. And it's now AI dead. Now. Excellent. Okay, it's now fully despawned. And level up as I gain 21,000 material from that. Brilliant. That's good. That's giving me enough resources to repair. 
Before I forget though, let's add some more detection on to this ship. We've just finished building a little bit of extra detection and just in time as another enemy has spawned in. Let's go see what they are. Green lasers and green and black hull. Lightning hoods. A cathode. Okay, I... That's a powerful ship. Continuous lambs, continuous lasers. If you keep firing at it though, it will... Be mainly shooting down my miss my cannon fire, though that is the only cannon weapons I have. My lasers don't seem to be doing anything. The fragmentation shells are not hitting where I need them to. Get back to my ship, which is sinking. Go to auto adjust on everything. Why are you sinking? Oh, you just passed through a portal. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, why are you under the water? Oh, you ran out of fuel. Well, my ship is in combat again. It seems to be, well, sunk. <laughs> what are we facing now? Wingard. Oh, the Titan. Okay. Um, this is worrisome. To observe the battle anyway. My detection is very spotty at the moment due to the fact that, well, my ship is basically sank. Why are you still sinking? Let's get the rear end of this ship up. Wait, am I getting shot from behind as well? This does not bode well. I really want to be watching what's happening in the combat, but AI, build connector, and transmitter receiver, build sonar, detection, and a sonar, actually no, um, where's, where's um, active sonar? Okay, so I've managed to do significant harm to that thing. Which is good. But what's now shooting at me from behind? Another desecrator. Okay. Once again, the fuel! My refinery is just not working, or do they keep blowing up? Oh, it's because they're underwater, isn't it? Refineries can't work when they're underwater. And get up out the water. Just a little bit. Oh, heck. Submariner life for me, I guess. Do I have any torpedo turrets? Um, prefab porpoise. That is a torpedo. Go do your thing. So that is now too damaged. At least part of it is. Yeah, part is too damaged. I've got an array of torpedoes flying, well, heading towards the desecrator. Okay, and it seems that we also have another ship, a Scarlet Dawn, which is heading a also at that thing. Corona and the waves. Quite severely, it seems. Grief, look at this mess. Go 
good. Get a little bit of electric engine working. How are these torpedoes doing at their target? And torpedoes are actually out of range. Goodness me. I'm just sinking further and further down, aren't I? Great, my ship seems to be listing. Let's turn the jets off because they're just wasting fuel. These torpedoes should be able to destroy this. Yep, though they are going above the water, which significantly reduces their damage potential. They hit below the waves, they do a lot more. I think it's five meters or so. Right, so there's that target. Moving now. Just try and maneuver over to there. Okay, so I'm going to now build myself a little missile array. What this is going to do is this going to give me boy, Senna boys? And then this will load into a four block boy. So when that will fire, it will give me actual buoy information, at least with the sonar. When it gets to the surface, it will be then actual radar information. Okay, I do seem to be now sinking into the ground. Thankfully the ground isn't fully realized in adventure mode, so it's just a, a blank space. I'm going to delete all these. What I've done, I've replaced the entire rear section of heavy armor with wood in the hopes that it will make me slightly more buoyant. It doesn't seem to have worked as my ship seems to be completely under the waves and doesn't seem to be increasing in altitude whatsoever. Still fighting. Um, I don't actually know entirely sure what it's still fighting. Um, I'm trying to maneuver. I've got the dust crater there, and the corona are still attacking me. The torpedoes seem to have defeated the titan, which is nice. But I am still in dire straits, though I am 500 meters below the surface, so nothing can really hit me. Well, my ship is now rising slowly, but unfortunately, I am under siege by torpedoes. My PID systems are still offline. That's why I'm actually not rising. The pitch is online, but the altitude is not. And ow, those torpedoes doing work. Yep, can't really attack that. Okay, can I do any sort of maneuvering? No, it doesn't look like I can. Build you again. Okay, I want you to be Eight. I want you to be altitude. I want you to go to seven. And then uh, altitude hydrofoil. I want you to be seven as well. Go to eight. Uh, go all the way up to one. Okay, that should now provide enough for us to get up. The only problem is, am I going to survive long enough? There's another ship to spawn in. Okay, uh, edit. You, rather than explosive, are going to be... Um, I'm going to have that, and then you're going to have a buoyancy. Um, ballast. Sign and a missile interceptor. Uh, 
Oh, great. Can't aim in that direction. Oh, hang on. Am I upside down? Oh, I am, aren't I? I'm actually upside down. Don't know if I can recover from this. Shooting the base of my ship. I need to try and get myself back on track. Propellers, huge propellers. Track the pitch. Okay, I am actually shooting at it now. I'm using my protection. I have one laser system, it seems. Ooh. Torpedoes striking the main cannon. They're all falling really far short, though. I'm trying to right my ship, but it's just not working. Go full reverse drive and pull myself out of the seabed. Unfortunately, now I'm at the seabed. My primary cannon won't fire because it's upside down. Let's get some roll right hand side and left hand side. Torpedoes are just wrecking through my ship. Let's get this all this roll, and then I need to dump a PI prone to doing extreme slowdown at the moment. And then I need a PID system control. Do on purpose PID. You are full gain. Zero, and I want you to do roll. Try and get me rolling back the correct orientation. Slowly but surely, my ship is pulling itself out. There we go, there's the laser. Oh heck, is that a big cram? See, this is a problem. The laser is now firing at the primary railgun. The ship is now, though, in the correct orientation. Oh, heck. Urgh. Slow down time. Oh, heck, I've fallen out of my ship. Get to my ship. Come on. Charging once more. Phew. It's always worrying. Never the screen goes green like that. So I can't just cue straight into the chair. There we go. There we go. Back in the, the seat. Not that that's going to help much, I don't think, but it makes me feel better. Wow, all those things have been destroyed. All my props. Let's see, slowly but surely, ship is going to get destroyed. I can't hit it. I've managed to destroy all that my torpedoes can hit. But now, it's just sitting there with its laser system. It's got plenty of fuel. It's plenty of fuel is going to be able to just keep that laser slowly burning away at my ship. Oh, I've just had an ejector fire. So some damage has been dealt to the base of my ship. You can see there, 
it ejected out, blew a hole out here with all of these additional hydrofoils I was building to try and right my ship. Seems like a torpedo hit the base and caused a detonation. I'm still trying to fire at it, but my shells are getting nowhere near. Fuel is doing wet, is going down as well. I don't have limitless fuel. So I am running out of resources now. Seems I am also now being attacked by a second ship. It's a flying monstrosity. Must be Grey Talons. Perseus. My ship still is not actually doing anything. I do have a laser functioning now, though. No, it's faint to aim due to failsafes. Well, let's watch this fight. This fight's a lot more interesting than the one I've got. And I got the bug where it's charging at Hearthstone constantly. And I'm sinking again. Well, my ship was bugging out, so I had to reload, and it seems to have rewrited itself. Uh, it was kind of upside down. But I had full engine, and my hearthstone just decided to stop charging. Uh, <laughs> seems to be a bit of an odd bug. I think it's probably due to when running out of fuel or something. Anyway, so all my panels of damaged ones are now back up and running again. Unfortunately, my main gun was destroyed. I actually now have my gun up and running again. There we go. Prime gun is now operational. There we go. Now I have two, both guns now working again. Actually, slowly but surely, rising back to the surface. And I'm back on the waters. I'm back on the surface. Receiving. Moving now. Excellent. This is good. Because now I'm actually up on the surface again. It does mean I. Well, I'm not sinking and can actually fire. My primary guns are now hitting the rusted ram. Kind of blown a hole through it already. Excellent. And just as I thought this was enough, something else is shooting at me. What do we got? Kinetic barrages, so a judgment. Great! Slowly but surely, yeah, my um, ship is a little bit beat up.
That's targets too damaged. That's fine. You can keep dealing with that then. Ooh, that target is worth a lot of resources. So as long as I can defeat the judgment. Which I have absolutely terrible detection on. Which should be expected, since all my detection has been shot off. There we go, make some basic detections now. Primary railgun is back online. Level up. Nice. Took a huge barrage to the side there, because I deleted the shields at the rear. And it seems to only have very high powered kinetic only rounds. How's the targeting doing on this? Doing okay. Still not great. <laughs> Seems that my actual torpedoes are doing most damage. I've taken off one of the guns. And just heavily disabled the other. My ship is just acting pretty much as a monitor at the moment with its huge primary cannon. Let's fire it manually for a moment. Yay, it's primary armament has been disabled. So it looks like the judgment has now been destroyed. Or near enough. At least, I have enough. at least I now have enough resources to repair. It's just I don't really have anything to repair with. I'm going to do the rubber cage thing again, aren't I? And it's going to be a resource box. with a load of repair tentacles on it. Okay, so, resources. You... Merge fleet. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently the vehicle is now... This one is the flagship. Whatever. Right. It looks like... My ship has just about survived another engagement. So it appears, yeah. Yep, so it's a little bit odd with the manoeuvring, it seems. Um, probably because this is this thing is the flagship. <laughs> Whereas, instead of this. But it means I can actually repair. Which is a good thing. I'm definitely going to need it for the next combat. So thank you very much for watching this episode of From the Depths with myself, Anna Diffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment below, as it is always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I shall see you again next time, where once more, I'll be repairing my ship back to its primary combat capability. But until then, I'm out. Goodbye! <laughs>